One of the uh, big problems players have, and indeed one of the questions I've been asked on the channel, is how to control the cue ball when the object ball is close to the pocket. Well, let me first of all say it is quite tricky, actually, even for the better player. One of the things that happens if we uh, are so close that we can choose which side of the pocket to we can pop the object ball is we have the privilege of hitting the, the object ball quite thin. We will get plenty of movement on the cue ball. Equally, if we hit it thickly to pot the ball and we've got topspin on this cue ball, what tends to happen, it hits the cushion, rebounds, but because it's still got a portion of that topspin on, it wants to go back towards the cushion. That is what some professionals prefer to play and it's described as the banana shot. If you play the shot with drag, then what we've got is a certain amount of drag on the cue ball. So what tends to happen is it pop the object ball and it comes off the cushion now and it's rotating in the direction that it's moving. So again, we get more movement. Just to try and demonstrate these, these scenarios, what I'll do is I'll play each shot. What we've got here, I've got the red very close to the pocket, so obviously I can pinch a little bit of the pocket and if I hit that red ball very thin it will have very little effect on the cue ball. So if I wanted to play for example for the blue hitting the red nice and thin and I'll get plenty of movement on the white ball. It has no reaction on the object ball. In this next example I'm hitting the object ball quite thickly with topspin. This is what the professionals call the banana shot. And here the topspin will react against the direction it's moving and we stay down at the top end of the table. And in that you can even get an up topspin on to make it hit the cushion a second time and come back off that cushion for position. The last one, what I'm going to do is play it with backspin or drag from there. So we drag on the ball. And you'll see that the white ball has still kept moving because it's now rotating in the direction it wants to move. How far to be perfectly honest, only experience will teach you. If we hit it thickly, we've got topspin on, it hits the red, it's still got topspin on as it comes off the cushion, rebounds but then stays there. The physicists amongst you may be able to give a more detailed explanation as to what's happening here, but basically the forward momentum of the cue ball is restricted but the top spin is retained. In the other one where we hit it thinly, it has no reaction and we can come quite a long distance away. The real problem is when people try to use power to get the white ball to move. Power will restrict it unless you're hitting that ball thinly, right? Power will restrict the movement, especially if you've got top spin on as well. I can't really teach you about how to control it. I, all I can teach you is what controls it. Then it's down to you to put plenty of practice in, experimenting yourself, whether to hit it thinly, thickly, with topspin, with drag, even with screw. That will teach you. So plenty of experience, plenty of practice, and good luck with that practice. Mm -hmm.